the people of the country be grateful, be happy because the, the presidency have allowed trading into the country. That's me translating the Yoruba version into English. The presidency allowed trading into the country. You can now buy thin tomato or such a tomato for 50,000. I felt like doing my hand like this <laughs> and giving a punch in the face. guys so i don't know if all of you are going through what everybody is going through currently in the country it's as if when we did the subsidy is gone all our lives was so going to change <coughs> there we are <laughs> so today i will talk about the cost of living in nigeria how you'll be able to survive especially if you want to do any box to purchases and how you'll be able to live through it and see things get better. So let's get into this. You're new here. My name is Magdalene. I'm usually going to talk about fashion, travel, and lifestyle. And I do believe if you look good, you feel your best. So currently, the current reality everybody is dealing with is inflation. And funny, funny enough, the inflation is not just in Nigeria. The inflation is worldwide. If you've been following the news, you will know the inflation is worldwide. But ours seems like immediately a state subsidy is gone. Everything just turned upside down. Like the cost of everything went exponential from tomato to pepper to everything like you just can't just live your basic normal life it's as if they just scraped out 100 naira from nigerian currency yes you can't buy anything with 100 naira you can't buy anything with 15 naira everything starts from 200 naira and above and you'll be like how do i survive all this your salary now co compared to the exchange rates if you divide it by dollars you see that we are any pin or some of us our salary is not up to the amount that it's supposed, it used to be when the currency was strong we don't know what is really happening so how do we survive this inflatory infl inflation cost of living that's currently ongoing in the country i don't know and this is not me telling you how it, it will help you relieve relieve your stress but all i know is that you have to find a way to survive it and these are the things i've been doing so in terms of how to survive cooking and all that we all know at all points if you have a Two thousand naira, or so you may get like four seeds of tomato. I don't know if that is the same thing in your own area, but in Lagos, as if tomato they can't force it, and maybe you buy eight seeds as eight, uh, eight um, small seeds of tomato, and that's or stew. We can't cook stew anymore. <laughs> like it's that funny. All you have to think is start eating thin tomato and mixing it with tomato and all that just for it to survive. Funny enough, I was in the market lately, and one woman was saying. You, uh, you uh, people of the country, be grateful, be happy because the, co the presidency have allowed trading into the country. That's me translating the Yoruba version into English. The presidency allowed trading into the country. You can now buy thin tomato or such a tomato for 50,000. I felt like doing my hand like this <laughs> and giving a punch in the face. Like, madam, thin. You want me to use such a tomato to do what? I like cooking pasta jollof rice. What was the purpose of just having just such a tomato in the house? It doesn't make sense. I should be able to buy fresh fruits just like typically before. You can just go to the market and buy tomato of 500 naira. And if you are being really like a big <laughs> big woman, you can go and buy tomato of 1000 naira, buy enough pepper, and you make stew. Maybe you do a such that cook stew for the week, stew for the for the week, or maybe you cook small stew and you could eat it for like four days and that's it. But now. The price of tomato is unachievable. The price of pepper, I don't even know. We have to start going for dried pepper. And you know, look, I would not have thought in my wildest dream that we get to the stage where even the traders that sell pepper and tomato, they now have dried version of pepper, dried version of tomato, which seems to be cheaper than the normal fresh one. And makes me feel like something shady is there's something shady going on. Because if the fresh tomato, you made it seem like it we imported it from the abroad. <laughs> And is that the price is that high? Then how come we still have the dried version of this same uh, produce in Nigeria for cheaper? Meaning that it's either the spoiled tomato you are giving me to eat or the spoiled pepper in the name of dried form. It's just so funny. And that is me talking rice. about rice is a staple food in most cultures in Nigeria, even abroad. Rice is something that is very easy to get. Before, if you don't have no, like you, can, you can't cook soup, at least you can afford to boil rice and eat. The liquor of rice was something that was very easy to assess, but now the price of rice, even with the fact that the trade has been enabled, is as if there's someone somewhere that said we have to go through a lot together because rice is now very, very expensive. So, 
how do you survive this if you are a single lady or if you are married? I think the best way is for you to ensure that you buy food in bulk. I used to, there's a colleague then where we sat together, I used to say it's good to buy things in bulk. So before it becomes more expensive, you already have some that will sustain you and you would have saved up enough to be able to afford more bulk prices. And it made sense. So if this month I'm able to buy rice in bulk, maybe 10 kg rice or 20 kg rice, and it lasts me for like two months, then I'll be able to, I will use this period to save more to buy another rice or you use some small money and buy the other things that you used to cook. So it's, the only way to survive right now is to buy in bulk. Because as I've seen, if you price, yeah, maybe you bought two of granola or five liters today and it's okay, before payday, which may be in two weeks time, I'll go and buy it before you get back there. <laughs> if they tell you it's 7k, this time it's going to be 9k. I see they just, price keeps going higher and higher. And it's because of the floating currency in Nigeria. So Naira is floating and trying to parallel with the black market, which in itself is not a bad thing though. But it's still not stabilized and it's making things so hard. Now let's talk about renting in Lagos. It's as if the landlords don't know that all of us are going through a lot. We are trying to increase the price of rent to make our life harder, which is not interesting at all. Like, I wish, though the, um, the the governor of um, Lagos is trying to make our rent go into monthly, but to me, I don't know if the monthly will help any matter because it's as if, as things are getting tougher, people are increasing their prices, including rent, to be able to afford to feed. So, it is people that want to live in the house are actually paying those rent. So, rent is exponential in Lagos. I feel like we're rolling out of Lagos. Please let me know how is rent in your area? Which state are you watching me from? Is it cheaper in your area? Is food cheaper? Is it? Because I actually went to Delta State lately and I met a guy who said ah, the presidency is working. I'm like, wow, that's good. But please, how's the food in your area? And he was like, food is cheaper here. I was like, what? <laughs> are you trying to say that I'm living in a state where things are exponentially high? But really, is food is feeling fine because maybe food is cheaper in this area. Please, are you here in Delta State? Please, is food cheaper in your area? Because this area is that I went to was Onijuku, so it's not really a busy area like Asaba. So I would understand if the person is so saying that food is cheaper, or maybe he is able to afford it. But really, food and rent is worse. Like house hunting in Lagos, I don't want to house hunt. I'm so afraid of house hunting now because since the old price increases and all, tenancy and well, prices have increased and the agents are not helping matter. So if you are saying I cannot pay 1 million naira for a mini flat, another person will come and pay you 1.5 million naira. That's Lagos for you. The cost of living now is crazy. Like, how do we even save? We are not even talking about like um, feeding. How do you even save? Is it that we can't save for future or plan for our child or children? How do you save for future goals, how do you save to buy a car, how do you save to buy a house or are we not supposed to be able to afford all these things normally if you get a job that pays you better or you earn more you're supposed to be thinking of how to save but it's as if the more you earn, the more you need to pay bills it's not, <laughs> we're using all the money to pay bills upon bills upon bills and the one that takes the major chunk of our bills now is feeding which that never happened to me <laughs> in my as a millennial, I've never heard where Food was the most difficult thing to get. Food was the easiest thing to get. If you don't have anything in a, in this country, at least you'll be able to feed yourself two square meal, at least two square meal, or even if it's one. But even the one <laughs> is not very, 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 very hard. So talking about house or house ones that are moving out. If you're going to be moving and you want to get all this electronics for your house, or you want to improve your craft and you want to be able to get. A laptop to be able to do what you want or you want to change your phone to be able to start doing content creation at least find another extra source of income there's another way you can go about it with the option is for you to go for pay small small pay small small option i'll write the name of the brand and the link for you to be able to subscribe to this brand that i've used and be able to solve all my other problems so since now it's as if all the money you make we use it to eat or we use it to pay rent we still have to be able to afford other things that we that is needed for us to live comfortably. Like if I want an air conditioner, or I want to buy a new air fan, I want to buy a new television set. This brand is City Care is one brand you can use. 
it helps you to pay for all this small 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 so i got my phone pay small small in like four months so what they do is when you pay 50 percent of this item they ship it down to you so i stay in lagos which happens to be where most of the vendors are but if you're outside uh, lagos still they see ship so but you can just go ahead and read the terms and conditions that you can use to be buying things for yourself i've used them like three times I've used them for my laptop i've used them for my washer i've used them for my washer i've used them for my phone so they are and i still am still looking at them to get maybe an inverter or something so this brand makes it easier for you to subscribe though there will be interest instead of going to take more loans to be able to buy this thing why not go ahead and pay small small for these items that you want if you pay small small for them you get to have it maybe after three or four months or when you pay 50 percent of this item and it is delivered to you at the comfort of your home then how do you get this item so they, they always ensure that the person that pays for this item is the one that receives it so a third party cannot really collect this thing for you but you can actually go ahead and allow enable the third party to get these items for you so this makes it easy for you to be able to purchase all these things which with the cost of living in this country is now like luxury <laughs> but this time around you can pay small 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 and get them months after so that's my, my two cents on how to survive in the country currently with the high cost of living and trust me the high cost of living it's not only about Nigeria, it's everywhere. If you have been watching the news, Kenya is complaining about excessive taxation. Every country is going through a lot. So it's not this it's not a time for you to just say I want to jack bar. Moreover, moreover, even jack bar may not be an option now because the price of jack bar is not expensive. The flight tickets is not very expensive, visa is very expensive. <laughs> So everything is very expensive and you may almost have to take a loan of almost 10 million naira for you to leave the country Then you will not first work to pay that loan before you learn to relax. So it's not, it's not about jackpot, you know, but the cost of living now is mad It's mad. So let me just say this video is just a rant talking about how things are very 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 hard and parents have to figure out how to be able to pay for the necessity and also cater for the children education and also you see all the also also that comes with it just to be able to live a balanced life and so i will not keep walking this running through a rat race and not be able to achieve anything so yes so guys if you like this video of me ranting about the cost of living currently in lagos give this video a thumbs up and please suggest down below which state in nigeria is cheaper if your state is not like lagos please let me know down below is it cheaper there or is it because you are living closer to the produce that things are cheaper for you? Let me know down below. So guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel.